Okay. Um, second here, guys. I'm gonna put this in the um Twitter here. Okay. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a great day. Okay. You're working with the stream good here. Let's see. Okay, hello guys, how's everyone doing? Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Uh... Yeah, we're continuing from where we left off here. Shall we get started then? And please, no talking. Who would win in a rap battle? OG, Loke, or Manny? Oh god, I don't even want to think about that. Thank you, why, how, when? That would just... I think we would... I think the cringe would just destroy all of us. Thank you, why, how, when, for the super chat. Oh, no! I was... Damn, I was that close. Oh, Jimmy, can't concentrate today. That was such a fail. That, that was horrible. That was terrible. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. For 100%, I know you guys told me that I have to buy all the school uniforms and all the clothes from the clothing shop, so I'm gonna take care of that right now, too. That was a terrible fail. I do like the sport jacket anyway, so I'm gonna keep that. Uh, okay. made two thousand dollars in this in this school year just by doing a bunch of random errands. That's pretty good. Um. Okay. these keyboard and mouse for the shop class. I'm gonna try one more time with the controller, but if I fail with the controller, I'll try the keyboard and mouse. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, here. Oh, okay, I got another... Another person in the yearbook that I got. Love to study in the library. It's 
Perfect. Okay, two more people. class we got now here. I think it actually might be the shop class right now. And uh, I have to also pull the fire alarms. That's what I have to do. I looked that up for 100%. I gotta pull 20 of these. How they know that I, I did it here. <laughs> All right, you feckless maggots. We'll be playing dodgeball for the next while. Oh, thank you, ah, Lewis dodgeball. Jackson. Thank you for How sponsoring my channel. Boys crying in the morning. Much and like thank you, life, Golden, um, uh, Stripe. Your videos have helped me right, through some hard times in alive. my life. I'd like to thank you good. for that. Let Pop me know if you ever want to play. I don't mean to be negative. I'm in a good place boys. now, so thanks. Thank you, Golden Stripe. I appreciate the super chat. And thank you for, um... Thank you, thank you for your kind words. And I'm glad I was able to help you out, and I'm glad that you enjoyed my channel. You're still gonna lose, Mustard Skin? I could try to, Lewis. What's your, um, what is your PSN? That was the easiest dodgeball victory ever. Come back whenever you feel like teaching these wimps a few things. I know he's supposed to be fired at this point. Uh... Ain't no stopping Jimmy Hopkins. What's new? Almost at 81%. In Manhunt, which kill more was most terrible? Uh, which kill? Oh, which kill move was the most terrifying rather than painful? Plastic bag, um, long blade sickle, or shiv? The sickle. I think the sickle probably. The sickle is probably the brutalest way to go, I would say. Were you at Longhorn Steakhouse? No, I don't go to steakhouses. Uh... Pull it again. Oops. Okay. Let me get out of here. Okay, let's look at the yearbook here. Um... We are doing good on the yearbook, that is, though. Tomorrow's uh, biology and music. I, I so, passed both of those classes. Like nice? Not giving a damn about my like Thanks. Thanks a bunch, Jimmy. I forgot that you can do that. This is so All right, great. Okay. Hello. Nope, okay, but I got an extra picture, and that's good at least. And, um, guys, I got a video coming out in Bully, by the way. Uh, so, possibly this weekend. But it's gonna, I think a lot of people are gonna like it.
need to go back to the motel, but I don't want to go alone. Can you please walk me? Sounds okay. Okay, I guess I don't... Okay. Escort her back to the... What's the... What's the... back to the motel. A little bit of a walk, okay. So there's no way to speed this up, you just have to basically walk with these people when you do, like, these escort errands, that's... Thank you, Lendon, for that uh, super chat. Yeah, no problem, my favorite playthrough you've done was the Lost and Damned, um, suck what Rockstar did, yeah. Lost and Damned was... No, Lost and Damned was the, um, ultimate, like, biker like, experience in any kind of video it's game. Totally uh, cool. It just, it sucks what Rockstar did to the characters. Uh, I will do those, um, uh, I still have to do those, Hector, um, that video is probably gonna come out early February, but I am gonna do the Strangers for Red Dead Redemption 1. Life is so boring. Uh, oh, another thing in Manhunt, uh, that looked inaccurate was the bat, the red, the kill move, can you give their head out like that, or do you need to do a home run charge hit? Um, yeah, I... I do not think that a baseball bat would actually- a baseball bat is not gonna blow somebody's head off. Like, it's not gonna happen. The- the only time that a baseball bat could, like, possibly, like, you know, knock parts of people's heads off is if they're, like, repeatedly hitting them in the head. It's over and over and over again. But, like, when it happens in, you know, Manhunt, where you just hit them, like, once, like, really hard and it blows, like, half their head off, no, that's, um, not gonna happen. Uh... It was nice of you. I completed that errand. I sent a clip to Yankton earlier. I took a Tiger one with a Panzerfaust. You should uh, look at it when you can. Also, Kate um, Gladswell is a leaked Modern Warfare 3 operator. Oh, I didn't know about that, Melon. But yeah, it does actually make sense to bring Laswell in because she has been... He wasn't even a playable character in Modern Warfare 3. The Panzerfaust is actually a very strong rocket launcher. For actually being very cheap, it's actually pretty strong. Uh, bike race one. Okay. I've never seen more dorks you might get surprised. Remember, a wheel ain't a wheel without all its spokes. Yeah, it probably would, Lendon, but. Burton said that Jimmy doesn't care about bullying. Yep. But the um, uh, the worst thing that Burton did was when he um, sexually harassed Zoe. Burton was a really, really horrible teacher. Oh yeah, he definitely should be arrested. Oh, these are laps, okay. Okay, so we got one more lap here. That's all there is to it. Hey, and we go to the greaser safe house, and I believe that at the greaser safe house, 
I believe that there is a, um, uh, an arcade machine that you have to play. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait a second. Let me just look at what the high score is so I know what, what high score I have to beat. I try, I just got a physical copy of Bully for my 360 Xbox One. I tend to get physical uh, games of ones I already love and ones I can't get since, um, delisting. Yeah, and it's always, it's always fun to look at the, um, it's always fun to look at the, uh, uh, the box cover in the back, but also the instruction manual, because the instruction manual also tells you things that you don't know. Wait, so what do I have to, uh, what is the high score that I have to beat on this? High score is 333. Okay, that is the high score that I have to beat. I know you get a lot of front requests, but I love it if you could add me um, when you get the time. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, and then there was one other. There was Lewis. Um, Lewis Jackson was also. What is your PSN too? Uh, I could add you no problem, Golden Strife. And thank you, thank you, Golden and Lendon. One more thing, could you possibly explain to us how Feral Ghouls? Fallout and Rangers uh, are kind of similar in behavior comparison. Well, it's just all it is is just pure rage. There's like there's just instinct. There's nothing else to it. You know, both ghouls and rangers in those movies have had basically their brains fried by radiation or by the virus. Um. Uh. I how do I avoid the spiders that are coming right at me? Is there a way for me to jump? That's, I'm, I'm, just, I'm suck at this arcade game. I'm trying to figure out, is there like a way for me to jump? I just have to shoot down the spiders before they come towards me. I guess that's what I gotta do.
come on, come on, come on. Ooh, close. Ah, no. I gotta keep killing those spiders, too. Ah, no. Damn. Okay, 333, that's the one I gotta beat. Um, I wish Rockstar um, would make a sequel to this. I adore GTA, but man, I wish they would go back to making games like this. Absolute classic. I do too, DBZ King. And it's been my first time that I played this game. I never played Bully before this. I always knew about the game, but I never played it. And um, glad that you guys recommended it to me. I did like it a lot. I did enjoy it. Okay, uh, Golden. Thank you for telling me. Go away, go away, spider. Oh, okay. Damn, I'm just gonna let them kill me one more time here. Let's try it again here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this now. Now I'm gonna beat this. 333 is the one we have to beat, but... Three dollars to play in an arcade game. That's a ripoff. Okay. Third of the way there. There we go. Oh, but... 
have a lot of them coming in now. Spiders just get out of control. I'm gonna go to sleep here. This is the worst mini game in Bully. Hmm. Also, I started a new play for Bully on Chapter 3 already. I think the preps are my second least favorite play behind the, the nerds um, Smug and Rich. Uh... How you doing? Yeah, I mean, uh, my favorite- I'd say my favorite faction, though, in the game is probably the Greasers. The Greasers, I'd say, are probably my favorite faction. Who do I think is more evil, CJ or Tommy? Uh... I think Tommy, Tommy, you know, caused a lot more chaos in Vice City. I need to remember that Tommy also started a gang war. Not that, man. Good day to you. I have to part I have to drink a hundred sodas, right? That's for the uh what is it, 100 or 200 sodas, does anybody know? Or, or no, I had to purchase sodas. Okay, that's what it was, purchase sodas, not drink them, okay. Thank you, East Wolf. Hey, professional, um, uh... I would love to see you play Max Payne. Those are my favorite games. I actually did a playthrough of Max Payne 1 and 2, and one a playthrough of 3 years ago, but I would update the 3 playthrough and do a cosplay this time, though. Let's try this game one more time. Give me Hopkins speed running. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Waifu. Uh, let's try this again now. This time, we're gonna complete this. 333 is what we needed, right? Rick is probably gonna knock down as many bananas as you can and then focus on the spider's wool. I think that's probably the trick for this. Come on, okay. That's close, okay. 
bananas as you can, that's the trick I think to this, yep. get the hang of something I can do it. Got that complete, that's done. Hey, give me back my burger. I'll be uh, facing Jumbo Flapjack, Gunlock, hey! and King Rasta uh, Mun in a fatal four-way match. Uh, thank you for the, the super chat. I mean, thank you for sponsoring my channel, Kintaro. Nearly uh, two years at this point, but what what is that a reference to? Is it is that from Bully? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just a bit confused. Uh... No, I didn't do the shop class yet. That we still didn't do yet. Big fan of you, of you pro. Love what you do. Thank you, Jeffrey. I think I get Man. I will do GTA Advance one day. I just don't know um, how I'm gonna play that. Uh, Hello, potential customer. 
but I will get it done. Saving here, making sure that our, uh, the burger quote is from my dress-up darling and the three people are wrestlers. Oh, okay. Is it a bad thing that I love to bully Angie, uh, Algie? Well, Algie is a scumbag. He, Jimmy helps him so many times and he still, um, screws him over. Okay, all of these races here are done. I'm sorry for the way I used to talk to you. Well, I don't remember how you used to talk to me, but it's, uh, but it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm a forgiving person. Uh, well, thank you for the super chat, Lewis. Paper route. Is there any way for me to tell which paper route mission I'm on? Because I think it said, uh, uh, I think it said I have to complete five paper route missions. But the thing about this is it always just says paper route. stats okay oh this is probably my favorite bully theme is this one getting 100% in the original Vice City? I, I do. Um, I did it in Definitive Edition, but I would, uh, I would be open to doing it in, um, I would be open to doing it in, uh, in Vice City, the original one. I did actually start that, like, a year ago, I think, but I never got around to finishing it. Activities. Um... Paper routes completed, okay. So I gotta do two more then. Algy says to Jimmy, thanks for all the help and later us help you. Yep. Oh, I couldn't stand him too. Probably the easiest way to make money in the game, or one of the easiest ways. This activity is pretty easy.
the door. There, I think I just saw him. I know a long time ago you played Black Ops 1. Do I plan on playing Black Ops 2? I yes. I and I do want to come back to, um, uh, I do want to come back to Black Ops, uh, to Black Ops 1 and just do a, um, and do another playthrough of it, but this time cosplay playthrough. Okay, one more paper... Uh, paper boy attempt here. Thank you, young, uh, you post friend CJ. Thanks, man, for the super chat. Stillwater or LS San Andreas? Which map is better and why? I think I like Stillwater because just all the districts to it and just all the activities around it, I would just say Stillwater. San Andreas, I think that San Andreas is the best GTA map of all time, like, of all the GTA maps. I think San Andreas is the best one, but I would say that Stillwater is still my favorite, um, my favorite city. And favorite map in general, too. Stillwater just doesn't have a countryside, it's just a massive city, but it, uh, uh but I do think it's a better map than, than San Andreas, too. Oh, oops. God, this is gonna be a hard paper boy mission now. Oh God, this is getting ridiculous now. What? Literally, I have two dogs and the cops chasing me. Get away from me. Twelve more papers. Ah. Dogs are still chasing me. Tell us a story about working in retail. I could, um, uh, let me just think, try to think of something here. Oh, I gotta... Is there no way for me to cancel the activity? I guess not. Okay. If anything, just wait for the, um... I'll just wait for this to expire, because I already did that. I just wanted to see if, it, if anything else is going to happen here. Thank you, Aaron, for the super chat. And thank you, um, why is it that Dutch calls Abigail, um... Uh... I'm trying to remember... 
Abigail. Oh, Abigail, John Marston's wife. Because, because Abigail has been in a relationship with the vast majority of the camp. That's probably why he calls her that. You know, Dutch has pretty much lost it at that point, and he just likes instigating people and just angering people. Thank you, Blinded Eagle. Can you Pegarino or Big Smoke? Big Smoke, because Big Smoke was at least smart, and just, he still well, cared about his friends, I but it was just, just, it was just the money was just too much for him to handle. purchase all of these clothes and spend the vast majority of my money, but I need to purchase everything for 100% completion. Tuxedo jacket? What the hell? We're gonna keep the we're gonna keep the tuxedo jacket. Okay. And look, I'm literally wasting most of my money on the clothes at this point. <laughs> okay. Which Mafia game is the best? Um, I think that most people would say that it's Mafia 2, probably, yeah. But I did really like Mafia Definitive Edition. Mafia 3, I never got the chance to fully beat, but I will one day. Shoes? Okay. Uh. Goodbye. This is just ridiculous. Look at what I'm wearing right now. You don't deserve that bite. What the? What was that about? Okay. to get back to college here. Or what's the best way to make money in Bannerlord? Thank you, Greatest Within. Um, it depends. Uh, if you want to be, in, there's a few different ways. The best way to make money, if you want to be like an evil character in Bannerlord, the best way to probably make money would probably be to rob caravans um, early on in the game. And also it would be to take over, um, what's this here? I think you could give me a hand. What's going on? You know what would be cool? If you egg the girl's door, I'm game. Come on, do it! Thank you. So, um, uh, basically, if you go into a city, make sure you walk around the city in Bannerlord. What you want to do is you want to take over a, um, uh, you want to take over an alley. You basically go up to the gangsters in the alley, and you basically, um, uh, when you, when you take over the alley, you talk, you, you, you talk to the gangsters, you, you basically instigate them, get them to attack you, you kill the gangsters in the alley, and then you take over the alley for yourself. Now you could free the alley. If you free the alley, everyone in the city will like you more. But if you take over the alley, you can put basically your own gang there and start extorting the city. Um, if you want to, the most honest way to make money in Bannerlord early on, um, uh, the being a good character is to make an Asurai character because the Asurai um, they have massive trading bonuses. And so what you do is you just start purchasing goods from like one city. You take it to like another city and you just basically sell in bulk to the other city. Uh, 
Who's more crazier, Richie April or Ralph Cifaretto? Imagine if they were around at the same time. I think that Richie is probably, um, uh, Richie is probably crazier, because the thing about it is that Ralph was a massive scumbag, a horrible human being, but Ralph even had his, um, uh, Ralph even had his limits. Uh, but Richie really had no limits. See, Richie was gonna do whatever Richie pleased. For the camera, what's your deal? I'm in this way. Turn around. What's cooking? Okay, like I got all of these here already. Thank you, Mr. Nowhere. And, um, hear me out, pro. I know you don't like Fortnite, but if we played it on a stream with whoever we could decide on. Would you play with us? There's also zero build, which is less complex, and I think it'd be better for uh, it'd be better for you. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll consider giving it a chance one day. But I'm honestly telling you blinded, though. I, I really appreciate the super chat. I'm just not much. I'm just not much into Fortnite. I could probably play Uno that you wanted me to play with you, or like the other ones. But just the battle royale aspect of Fortnite and the you know the cartoony, I don't think that I would like it at all. Um, I would be willing to like you know play Warzone battle royale. At least that's like on Call of Duty. Um, I'd be willing to play that with you or like any other game. I mean, I guess if you really really want, I could play Fortnite with you. But I just I just don't think that I'll personally enjoy it too much. Just letting you know, being completely honest with you on that. Um, and got it, bro. The daily bills are killing me, though. Yeah, the garrisons and everything that you get to pay for your soldiers and your mercenaries. Yeah, Banner Lord can get tough with that. Jim, um, go stand over by the bike. Imagine a kid working in a mechanic Wait, shop dressed like this. Like this is like, cars it's just this is just so ridiculous right now. Look at this. You can run, boyo. Okay. Okay. Maybe you're just not cut out for this. Start over. Hang on. You better try that again, son. Come on. I guess you're not useless. Well, you screwed up there. You're pretty useless. Oh my god. Get out of my sight. I hate this class so much. So basically, no matter how much of a piece of crap character can be, if they loved or cared for someone despite their evil, um, they're just a sociopath. Yeah, um, th that's that is the easiest way to tell who is a psychopath, because a um, a psychopath is not going to care about anyone. They're not even gonna have loved ones. So like, even if somebody is extremely evil, if they have at least one person that they actually care about, they're not a um, they are not a uh, psychopath. It's what you wanted, right? Cool. Those preps think money can make you cool. Sometimes I feel a little too. All right, do your thing. You ever want to look like me? Man, it's okay. There we go. You are an interesting. Over here. Nice man. No way. You're on camera. I can't help. Today I have a. This has been literally the easiest way for me to get the yearbook because I start taking pictures of random kids until it works. Oh, okay. That kid can run fast. What the? Hey, dudes, over here. Yeah. Nope. Over here. Over here. Mr. Waifu. Hey, Pro, just joined the stream. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. How are you, man? El Barolo, thank you, um, for the super chat. Do I have a class right now? What's going on? I don't think I have a class then. Okay.
It looks like I paid him to protect me. Uh, it's- the stream is lagging? Wait, what? Everything good with the stream, guys? There we go, another person in the yearbook. I'll see you, Jonah. Take care, man. The retail story. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm just trying to think of what story I could tell right now at this moment. I just po told the vast majority of my stories. Um, what the? What is trip on? Hey, sweet cheeks. I like you, Jimmy. There we go, got another person. There we go. There we go. Okay, got a bunch of pictures now. Some preps go to the boxing gym. Oh, the preps? I'm missing. Uh, I'm missing preps. You're saying, huh? Hey, pro. Sorry, I'm an hour late to the stream. D don't apologize, man. Literally, uh, watch the stream whenever you want. It's okay, Spencer. Thank you for the super chat. But let me think about a retail story I can tell you. Um. Does anyone recognize these names, by the way, that I'm missing from the yearbook? Biff, Bryce, Casey, Const, Donald, Gloria, Gordon, Justin, Karen, Lola, Mandy, Melody, Pedro, uh, Norton, Pinky, Ricky, Sheldon, Tad, Tom, Troy, Wade. Um, people told me it's a few preps that I'm missing. Um, thank you, Matoda. Andy's picture didn't count, uh... Pinky is a rich Karen who, who dated at, um, Carnival. Oh, okay. Oh, so some of the smaller kids, okay. Okay, that's Sheldon? Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, you're right. And Melody. Okay, so I'm missing some of the shorter kids then. Over here! Okay, perfect. Um, just got three more pictures here. I understand. I... Over here. What's up? Over here. Over here. That shirt is really neat. Can't let anyone know what's still there. Over here. Hi. Remember me? I can skip this year. Over here. That definitely helped. Okay. Yes, 
you think GT Online will end this year? This year, I think this is it. This is the final year at GT Online. I think it's over. Over here. Wait, Gary Hill. Ah, there we go. Remember, that's the idiot who got all pissed at you uh, when Gary instigated him. Eighty-three percent completion already. Okay, nice. Over here. Oh, yep, okay. And you said I'm missing some of the preps, right? Okay. Andy is the female jock uh, cheerleader. Okay. Over here. There we go, Karen. Okay. Okay, let's go to the gym then. Is lag again? One hundred percent, you're psycho. Wait, why am I psycho? I'm just okay. Uh. Uh, so about the, um, uh, the, the retail stories, let me think of a good story I can tell, Aaron. Um, I think maybe I haven't told before. Um, the vast majority of my stories I've told before. Uh, hey Jack, how are you, man? Can I do Last of Us gameplay? I can try to do a playthrough of it eventually, yes. I think I can do a, a nice cosplay for it too. Wait, that's a prep right there. Did I have him? Hey there. I'm no socialist. I okay. Have him already. Who ever heard of California Wolf? Did you get those designer shoes on Shadow Mutation? There won't be as many undesirable. These kids already got them all. I got now. Perfect. It's impossible to get a girlfriend over around here. here. Over here. When I get through with you, you'll see that Peter. Because I've got them all. Over here. Excellent. Okay. Give it to him. Come on. Okay. Let's see, who am I missing now? Donald uh, on this page. Who's Donald? Gordon, Justin, Lola, Andy, Inky, Norton, Ricky, Tommy, Troy, Wade. He's a trained boxer. We want blood. Donald is one of the nerds. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Bryce is the guy hitting the bag. Oh. Okay, good call. Thank you, Grace Wilson. Why does Bob always have to be saying Over here? Why are girls over here? Understand? I mean, over here. Money. Are you gonna start fighting soon? What a dirty proletarian joke. There we go. Okay, that was a bit hard to get his picture because he didn't want to take the picture anywhere. Uh, Over here. Did you ever avoid taxes? What the hell? Helium, 
Over here. Hi. That's Sheldon. Over here. How you doing? I can pick up nerd with one hand. Oh, it's Russell, right? Hey. Over here. What's up, man? Gordon. Okay, perfect. Hey guys, don't forget to save your money. Instead of giving um, Rockstar $50 for a port of Red Dead Redemption 1, you can buy the remaster of Spider-Man, which is way better. If anyone is going to buy the remaster for um, Red Dead Redemption 1, uh, just make sure you wait until it's completely on sale. Probably the best time to buy it then. But yeah, Spider-Man is also an amazing game. The yearbook is coming together nicely. Casey and Cons. Who's Casey and Cons? Does anybody know who that is? Uh. Fight me, Please don't. Uh, any scumbag kids during my retail? Um. Oh yeah, I I actually have a story about that. So let me tell that. Um. Roy, there we go, perfect. So, um, Aaron, you still here? I'll answer your question on this. Um, there, um, basically, there was these kids that, that, um, Ricky's one of the greasers. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, Casey's a jock. Okay. Okay, so, there was these kids that, um, okay. I didn't have her picture for a moment there. There was these... When I used to work in retail, um... You're missing two girls. The rich one and the greaser. Oh, the greaser girl. Um... Yes, um... Where can I find her? Because I don't think I've seen her in some time. Might have to go into the city. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Over here! Hey, what's going on? Oh, geography class already passed that. You know, I think I'm gonna put some meat on her. Over here! What's the word? Over here! Well, I guess I can be convinced. I don't think I took his picture, have I? Yup, I was okay. That's him, that's Ricky. Over here! Over here! leader in the football field. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Over here. Hi. Nice one, Shorty. I think I'm going to go to geography class because I just like it regardless. Good morning, my little cartographers. This would be my favorite class in school. Okay, uh, the first flag that might be Ecuador? No, Bolivia. Wrong. That, this is, uh, France, the, um, yup. Uh, that one, yup. Belize, I think? No, Guyana. Jamaica, okay, let's see if I get these right. Jamaica, Brazil, Colombia, Trinidad. Uh, Jamaica, Brazil, Colombia, nope. Jamaica I did get right. Jamaica will be right here. That is El Salvador. No, Nicaragua. Central American country. That's Panama. That is Peru. Hmm. A fair guess, but I'm afraid it's wrong. Trinidad is this one. Uh, hang on. Brazil here. 
No, I'm sorry. Uh, it, it's in the right location. It's got to get it perfectly on. That's Venezuela. Recognize that flag. Colombia. Easy. Um, this is Ecuador, right? That's El Salvador, I think. Yep. El Salvador and Nicaragua have very similar flags. Um, okay, here we go. These islands are always the hardest to do. Try again. Heavens! Whatever gave you that idea? Try again. Got them all wrong here. The islands are always the, the hardest to do. Try again. You've charged a fine. I said I'd do it. <laughs> Over here. Okay. Yes, sir, or what? Go see if we can finish this here book here. Over here. Hey, what's your tail, uh, Nightingale? Alien scum. How did Washington? Look up DSP, tries the geography, you're gonna say, oh my god, he tries to seriously put Greece in, um, uh, in Finland, or something like that, he's the worst gamer. Oh, wow, well, that's, oh wait, her, I, Show me that you mean it. okay, there we go, that's, I got Penky's photo, the story, right, um, uh, I'm sorry, I keep getting sidetracked, so about the story, uh, Oh, this might be the girl I'm looking for here. You, know, you smell really nice. No. There was basically when I used to work in retail Saturday nights, I would basically have these kids that would come in, and um, these kids were under 21 years old. Hey, buddy. But okay, see. But what these kids would do is they would try to buy alcohol, and when I say alcohol, talk like massive amounts of beer, like you know, like two or three packs of beer that they would bring up, like a ridiculous amount. And what they would do is they would give me like a Pennsylvania state ID every single time and it would say that they're over 21 years old. The Pennsylvania state IDs were fake. They were just fake just so that they could uh, basically get alcohol. And what, what class do I have now? Uh, oh, what, what is it? Math. And basically uh, what happens is what people don't know about this. I know I told this story, but it is relevant to the, you know, the annoying kids. What, what people don't know about this is that in an American court of law, in order to prove that somebody has, you know, committed a crime, convict somebody of a crime, you typically need mens rea and actus reus. And actus reus is the uh, the guilty act, where mens rea is the guilty state of mind. That is um, uh, that is Latin terms. So basically, you need you need to prove intent. You need to prove that um, uh, that that there that somebody is intending to commit a crime. Uh, and the guilty act itself, which is the crime. But here's the thing about this, and this is what people don't know. If you work at a store, right? If you work at a store and you sell a minor alcohol, even if you ask for their ID, if you ask for their ID and they give you a fake ID and you, you put in, you know, the birth date that's on the fake ID and you sell them alcohol, you're gonna get arrested. You're gonna get in trouble for that, for selling alcohol to a minor. And that's, that's called a strict liability crime, so... Uh, which is fastest playing here? Lowest. Um, at how many triangles? Um, you can yeah. do better than that. Forty-nine, fifty-seven. Uh, You're not even damn. trying. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Zero equals biggest. Fourteen plus uh, three. Fastest, uh, 0.25, 21, 23, fastest, um, shortest, nine, Pay attention. Ah, damn, Fast. hurdle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 3,000 equals 50 times 65, uh, three smallest. Seventeen plus eight. Uh. Ah. 
melt at 25. I almost had it. Okay, so uh, let's let's so let me continue the story. So people don't know that that if you if you ask a miner, you know that you know somebody comes into a store, you're working at a store, right? And they and they're trying to buy alcohol. If they give you a fake ID and you basically sell them the fake alcohol, even if it's on camera, it's showing that you asked for the fake ID and you you know scanned it thinking that it was real, you're gonna get arrested. That's for a strict liability crime. And that basically what that basically means, it's one of those few crimes where you have a- you, you've committed a guilty act without a guilty state of mind. So basically it means that you've committed a crime without realizing that you've committed a crime. And, uh, and so, I know about that, I know about those laws, but the problem is, is that a lot of the people that I worked with didn't necessarily know about that, and so they thought that it wasn't a big deal if they sold alcohol to, to basically, to kids, even if, um, uh, even if they thought that the ID was real, but, um, you know, I started explaining that more to people, uh, but, uh, let's see here, uh... Hello, baby. That is stupid, I agree with you, it is stupid. And you want to know something, I, something really ridiculous, I'll tell you guys about this story. So, um, uh, whenever these kids would basically come up with these, with these fake IDs, I would always tell them, you know, I need permission from the supervisor. The supervisor would come up and I would basically tell the supervisor, I'm like, here, you know, what do you, what do you think of this? I need your permission. The supervisor knew what I was talking about, knew the, you know, the IDs were fake, and would deny it, and the kids would just complain. You know, every, every time they would complain, they would make a scene, and then, and then a week later, they would come into the exact same store. So Saturday night, they would come in the exact same, we would go through the exact same thing, I would call the supervisor up, supervisor would basically look at the fake ID, and, you know, tell the kids, like, you know, we can't take this, and they would just complain. And one day, when the, um, uh, when those kids came in, and I'll never forget this part, uh, what happened is, they, um, uh, the supervisor was getting pissed at those kids coming in every week and basically causing a scene and complaining about their IDs not being accepted, that what he did was he actually called the cops on them. And, uh, what happened is, the cops actually came in, and what the cops did was, they actually, uh, they actually did like a, um, they took a, like some scanner, some kind of machine, right? And the machine was meant to test whether the ID was real or not, and the, the machine actually, the machine that they used, the, the fake ID passed the test. So, the fake, it was a fake ID, it wasn't real. They didn't even remember their address. But, the thing is, the cop's machine, the, 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 the thing that the cop had, it passed that. So, um, so not even the cop's scanner could tell that the ID was, was fake. And what the cops did was the cops took the fake, the fake IDs and they basically told the kids, don't do it again. So they basically told their, took their IDs and they told the kids, don't do it again. Now, here's the thing about this, is a week later, those exact same kids that came in with the fake IDs and the cops um, took their IDs and said don't do it again, guess what they did? They came in again, on a Saturday night, again. And I was like thinking to myself, like, are these kids stupid? Are they just dumb as hell? Like, how stupid are these kids? Like, do these kids have any brain cells whatsoever? I was like thinking to myself, it's like, Lily, you go to this store every single Saturday night, we reject you, we tell you we're not selling you beer every single Saturday night, and then a cop last week literally took your IDs, told you not to do it again, you come in next week to the exact same place with a fake ID, and you try to do it again. Like, Lily, how stupid are these kids? Like, I just, it's so dumb. These kids were in high school, you know, they looked like they were 17, 18, that's around the age. Like, so stupid, so dumb. Uh, that is, uh, and you know what ends up happening? The manager called the police again, and the police came by and they took their IDs and they did the exact same thing. They said, don't do it again. And guess what? They're going to still keep doing it again and again and again. And, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not saying necessarily to like arrest these kids. It's not what I'm advocating. But what the parents should do, is the, the cops, what they should do, the cops should take the IDs, destroy them, and then what they should do is the cops should basically take the kids, drive them home, and basically tell their parents what they've been doing. That's what the cops should do. I'm not saying to throw them in jail, but the cops should drive their, the kids home and tell the parents what the kids have been doing. That's really what the cops should have been doing, but it's just, it's just, it's so annoying that the cops were just basically taking the, the IDs every time. Don't do it again, and then they, they keep doing it over and over again. And guess what? One other, uh, another time before that, 
Before that, um, those kids had come in in the middle of the week once, and I wasn't supposed to be working that day, but the kids come in, they saw me again, and they still walked up to the register and basically tried to do the same thing with the ID. Now, this, I had a different supervisor that was working at that day, and I call over my supervisor, and I basically tell her, I like, I need your permission for this, and she's, and she was like in a rush, she's like, she's like, you know, what's the problem, Patrick? And I didn't want to just blurt out saying that the ID was fake there, but I was like telling her, like, can you please take a look at this, there's something wrong with this. And, you know, she didn't seem to understand what I was, um, uh, what I was saying. And I told her, you know, I'm not scanning this. I'm not doing this. And I walked away, and then she basically scanned it. She sold the alcohol to them. And then she walks up to me, and this, she's all like, you know, what's the problem? You know, why did you need my help? You know, why didn't you want to scan this? And I told her, I'm like, you do realize those IDs are fake. And you just basically sold alcohol to underage kids. And you know what she told me? She told me one of the stupidest things that I've heard in my life. She told me one of the dumbest things I've never forgotten. And she told me, she's like, an ID can't be fake. People can't fake driver's licenses. And I was like this. It was like, it's like, my God. It's like, you know, a driver's license can't be faked. It's like, that's like one of the, the stupidest things I've heard about. Like, I think I was literally going to lose brain cells just listening to that. That's how ignorant some people are. Literally, people have been faking ID since the beginning of time. Since recorded civilization, even, even like, even, you know, hundreds of years ago, before they even had, you know, cameras, when people just had documents to prove who they were, people were faking that even. People have been faking IDs since the beginning of time, and it's never gonna end. People are always gonna have fake IDs. So literally, it's just one of the stupidest things I've heard of t telling me that there's no such thing as a fake ID. It's the dumbest thing ever. But yeah, that, and that's the, that's how stupid it is, is the, the cops are basically, it's a, it's a slap on the wrist. But if, if a cop pulls, if, if, if those stupid kids, those dumb kids, right? If, if those dumb kids basically got drunk and got in, got into a car and crashed their car, the cops would, one of the first few things the cops would do is they would be looking into where those kids purchased that alcohol. And then what they would do is they would go back to the store and even if you, um, even if you showed on camera that you asked them for ID, they gave you a fake ID, and you, you know, you put in the birth date, that's not an excuse, you're gonna get arrested for that. And so I don't think that, you know, keep that in mind, if you're ever, if you're ever working in retail, keep that in mind, that if you basically sell alcohol to somebody, even if it's a fake ID and you didn't know that, that you're gonna get arrested for that. Um, I guess it depends on the state, some states might have a massive fine, um, but others could arrest you for that, so that's the only thing I'll say is heavily watch out for that, because that could, um, Unless the law has changed, but that's one of the stupidest laws I've ever heard. But I'm gonna tell you something. If I was like a lawyer and I was literally defending like a client that uh, that had those charges, I would tell the judge. I would basically give the judge two IDs, and one of them would be fake, and one of them would be real. And I would tell the judge, Your Honor, can you tell the difference between which one is fake and which one isn't? Because that's one of the stupidest things ever. Is that is that you know how are you supposed to know exactly if an ID is fake or not? You're not. So that's uh. uh. In the 80s, you could have your parents write a note to get them liquor or cigarettes, and you would get away with it. No ID required. What? Um. Please do stalker cop. Uh, you are my favorite keep of the videos. Stalker cop. Uh, all oh, the stalker games, the ones that are in Chernobyl. The spice slot. Thank you for the super chat, man. Thanks. Zo Poppy complained the likeness in GTA uh, 6 trailer after the Florida Joker dude. As for the Florida Joker, he demands Rockstar to voice the character. <laughs> that that guy is only gonna be in like one scene probably. He's not gonna be this big character that people think he's gonna going to be. Uh, thank you, um, Jitter. Thank you for the super chat too. How is Phil Leotardo able to turn into a house? Yeah, I remember. He's like, get that piece of crap off my stoop and go back to New Jersey. Remember that from Sopranos. Ugh. Okay. Can somebody tell me here if they know who am I missing here? Const. Who is Const? And Donald. Const, Donald, Justin, Lola, Mandy, Norton, Tom, and Wade. Does anybody know who I'm missing, who those people are? Or what faction they're in? What's your progression of the subject? So I, I keep messing up the shop class. Keep failing it. Lola is the greaser. Oh, right. Lola is the greaser girl. Okay, right. But I'm gonna have to look for her in town, because I never see her in school. So I'm gonna have to look for her in town itself. Yeah. 
would stop me. Okay, so two of the characters are greasers. Const is short for Constantinos. He's a non-click student. Uh, what does he wear? That was gonna happen. Oh man, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know that if you jump on the car, that 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 they. Docker Call of Christian. It has the best story. Of... I will. I will definitely look into those games. I would definitely be open to playing a game like that. He wears a green sweater. Okay. Is he short, tall? Maybe that's him. Over here. Hey. Oh, it's not him. Okay, green sweater he's wearing. Over here. Cool. Where'd you get that shirt? Oh, that's not him. Over here. How's it going? Oh. You're such a English right now. Yay, English. Okay. You know the drill. Do the assignment to be quiet. I'll just be sitting. Imagine coming to class day. like this. That's just. He looks like an aristocrat. Okay. Uh. Uh. Crony. Well yep. done. Uh. Bon. I'm afraid that's not English. Any. That's right. Um, Roy. Try again, That's, James. Okay. Um, Ark. Good one. Uh. I don't no. think that's in the dictionary. A. Good show. Oh, yep, it worked. Um. Uh. Uh, damn. Car, right, you're right. Keep it up! Horny. Good one. Born too, maybe that's another word. Good one. Yep, it is. Um Oh, can, yep. Good one. Um Rayon, uh, is that actually enough for that? Yeah, it is. Oh, you got it. Nice one, Good dude. One. Um, boy, gonna, Good yep, one. it works. And, uh, no, there's no V here. Um, ran, yep, that is a word. Good one. Uh, uh, orc? That has to be some sort well, that of that is slang. a word. Yes? Um. Good one. Yarn? Right, yarn. You're right. Uh. Good one. What are we missing here? Um. More? Good one. It worked. Damn, this is hard. Um, it's just... Pray, I'll try it. Try nope. again, James. Crayon, we already got crayon. This is hard. It's just... Um... Orkay? Try again, nope. James. Con, yep. Good one. That is one, you got it. Cry. Good one. Um... Good one. Or... Um... Orca... I can't. It's so hard. Maybe you should spend a yeah. little more time reading, James. Would do you good. You know, I 
and that class is hard. There's way too much fighting. I don't know what to think about this. Hey. Over here. Good day, my friend. Hi there. Oh, that's Constantino. Okay, perfect. Okay, we got him. I like you, Jimmy, but I probably shouldn't win any Okay. Now let's go take Lola's picture here. Um Ned Luke is streaming GTA 4 today. Oh, did he ever play GTA 4? Thank you, Jitter. And let me read some of the super chats. I missed them earlier, too. Um, Don Henry Edith, uh, Edith um, Richardson in Fallout 3 was the only person who was genocidal. I think Colonel Autumn was instead leveraging the Aqua Pure project. Well, the difference between Colonel Autumn and um, John Henry Eden is that John Henry Eden basically wanted to kill everyone in the wasteland who was not a Vault Dweller and a um, uh, and a member of the Enclave. But the Vault Dwellers were probably going to get killed anyways. Uh, the um, Colonel Autumn wanted to basically. Um, uh, oh, I think I saw her. Oh, wait. Oh, I. I she disappeared. What's going on? Colonel Autumn wanted to actually turn on the purifier, and uh, he actually did want to help people. He was Colonel Autumn was ruthless and evil in how he went about it, but he actually did want to help people in the wasteland. Um, is that Richardson was just evil? If I were a celebrity or some random guy in weird news made fun of a rockstar cuddle, I'd laugh and roll with the punches, maybe even do a playthrough. You know, the thing is, though, is I wish, um, uh, if there was a character that was a parody of me in, uh, GTA 6, I would laugh at that so much. I wouldn't get take offense at that, that at all. Um. Over here! Hey! Hey! Hey, what's your tail, Nightingale? Hey, Ditch, what are we doing today? That's how the greasers talk. Town, rich boy. What am from? You little potty mouth. Over here. What's the word? Over here. You'll blow a gasket acting like that. I gotta go. Oh, 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 oh. What a joke. Uh. This used to be my childhood game, and the only thing I would do was try to beat up every guard good times until now, because I'm grown. Yeah, I think playing this game as a kid, you'd probably have a very different experience than playing it as an adult, but... Oh, okay. There we go, it's Norton. Okay, now I'm trying to find Lola. Is there a specific place Lola hangs out here? I saw her earlier, but then she disappeared. Thank you, Sleepyhead. Um, and thank you, Victor. I just finished community college last month, and I plan to stay in retail for one more year. Uh, being in retail has been an experience for me. Yeah. It's, uh, uh... And the thing is, though, is if you have a great manager that has your back, I would stay there for just some time. If you have, like, if you like your co-workers and you like your manager, stay there, but if not, just get out of there as soon as you can. Thank you, Victor. What got you interested in law school and the Mafia? Well, I've always just been interested in, like, crime games and crime movies. Uh... And, uh, basically, the thing about this is what people- what a lot of people don't know is that law enforcement technology was not my first degree attempt. I actually went to, uh, a few other, um, degree attempts. I actually tried to do business, and I actually understood most of business, but I just didn't like it. It wasn't for me. Uh, it's kind of ironic because I actually run a business today, my own rental property, but I run that just fine without, um, uh, business class- business classes. But, um, business, I tried to get a degree in that. I just didn't like it too much. Um, and, uh, and then I tried to get a degree in, um, uh, what was it, um, it was a computer degree, but I didn't like that either too much. 
and and I, I was gonna go for a history degree originally. That's the one I wanted to go for was a history degree, but what happened was the college had canceled the history program because apparently it wasn't popular enough. Not enough people were taking it, and so they just canceled the program. They didn't think that it was worth having at the college. It kind of pissed me off because I really wanted to go for that. And what happened was at that point, um, when the history program was canceled, I kind of wanted to just drop out of college. I didn't want to even do it anymore. And my mom basically, like, you know, she told me, she's like, you gotta finish something. You gotta finish some kind of, you know, degree. And I told her I don't really think I need to go to college but you know she pushed me she's like you need to you need to finish something and so I um uh, I, I I went to law enforcement technology that's what I did because law somewhat interested me always uh but uh but yeah that was uh that's basically a story behind that check the girls dorm for Lola and Donald is a nerd okay okay uh, thank you Grace Finn, and thank you Jacob Thank you guys for the super chats. Okay. Most evil Fallout antagonist? Probably John Henry Eden. Yeah. Probably, it probably is John Henry Eden. Got my eye on you. Is that the same song that plays in the Saints Row 2 clothing store? I think it might be. is a prep, okay. Or Jack hat. Cowboy hat. Okay, we're keeping the cowboy hat. Um. You can actually dress like Claude and Bully. Hmm. I'm running out of money. here. Love your channel, Pearl. Thank you, man. Next Medal of Honor tonight. I'm gonna record it tonight, and I'll have it up for tomorrow. I have enough money for everything here. I think I will have enough for everything. Jimmy's he he haircut. <laughs> okay, we are at 84% completion already. Nice. Welcome 
for your information, shoplifters will be prosecuted. Shoplifters will be prosecuted. <laughs> Not in a lot of places today anymore today. It's a lot of places have really stupid laws regarding that. Uh, okay, save here. Are you able to grow a full beard? Honestly, um, I really don't like facial hair, like mustaches and beards. Like, sometimes you'll see me having a little bit of it, but I really don't like, honestly, facial hair. I don't even really like long hair either, too. Am I gonna do Manhunt, too? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do Manhunt. I actually talked to one of my friends, Wilsey, who he's, like, an another YouTuber. And I actually asked Wilsey, um, I asked him if, uh, if YouTube gave him any problems for Manhunt 2. And he said he didn't get any kind of strikes or anything like that. He only said a lot of the videos got demonetized. Not a big deal. As long as I, as long as I don't get any strikes from YouTube, then I'll... Find Algie's jacket, okay. And the jacket end up all the way up there. Why though? Why what? Um, are you a landlord? Yes. I own one rental property. I'm not a scumbag though. I treat my tenants fairly. Uh, here. How did his jacket get all the way up here? Looks like John Tutton from Yellowstone. <laughs> Shall we get started then? And please, no talking. What? Well, you got it? No, 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 no. That's that's BS. I deserve another chance. is just a bit hard to but this is ridiculous um god it's just the, the racers get get away ah damn no oh! Uh, Looks like you're having difficulties today. Don't worry. Damn. I tried. Oh. Save this, just make sure. I keep saving because I just want to make sure that my uh, my game doesn't crash. Why would Mr. Hattrick... Lola, I was trying to find 
trying to find her around the town, but I couldn't find her anywhere. I think I'm gonna have to find her around town here. Um, uh, oh no. Thank you, East Wolf, and thank you, Mr. Waifu. I graduated from my previous university with a degree in liberal arts. Well, I feel like it's useless because I wanted to be a journalist for Prog, uh, canceled. Well, if you ever want to be a journalist, um, the thing about that is that, um, what's going on here? Why is he, why is he running away? Um, over here, over here. If you ever want to be a journalist, though, uh, we need more good journalists in this world because there's this, um, uh, is journalists on just both sides have just, um, been so toxic, and this is the media in general has just, it just turned people, it just turned people constantly against each other. But it seems to today, like, the media, mostly, a lot of journalists, don't seem like, um, they're really interested in reporting the news, it's just more like a political agenda. What I will say is, like, the best, the best rep news media reporters that I've ever seen are literally um, local news. Like, if you ever turn on any local news station, chances are your local news station is, like, ten times more balanced than what you see on, like, mainstream TV. Because whenever I turn on local news, like, in my town, like, that I've moved to in the Midwest, there's no political garbage, none of that stuff. They're just basically telling you what happened in the world, what happened in the, in the town, um, you know, stuff like that. That's it. It's telling you just basically the events, what's going on. That's it. They don't try to, you know, add some, you know, political commentary to it or anything like that. Uh, so... That's like one of the few things I could stomach to watch in the media, honestly. Um, one thing I did not like in Fallout 3 is that the Enclave are just uh, hostile instead of just territory hostile. Not every member is a Richardson um, elite. Yeah, but y did you ever get that scene? There's like a really rare, um, there's a really rare event that you can get where there's actually um, friendly Enclave troopers. It's a very rare event that you can get. It's it's extremely rare. It's one of those rare Fallout 3 random encounters. But there is actually a random encounter where you can encounter a group of Enclave and they're friendly. And this is after, you know, after Raven Rock had gotten destroyed. And basically what they say is they, they walk up to a bunch of Brotherhood outcasts and they say that they want to surrender to the Brotherhood of Steel, they don't want to fight anymore. And the um, uh, the outcasts basically say we're not the Brotherhood of Steel and just kill all of them. So when they surrendered. So there's like a scene like that that you can encounter. Um, before a hard class, save and load if you fail. I guess, but that's kind of cheating maybe in a way. I would just like to wait until it comes back up in the week. Let me go and, um, you know what, I'm gonna go and see if I can try to find Lola. Because, like, finding Lola has been really annoying, like... Does anybody know where I can find Lola? Like, where she typically would be? Because it's like, um... I saw her before, but... It's, um, I missed her before in the city. Before a hard... yeah. Thank you, Greatest Wolfin. Uh, thanks. I don't like my new university, so I needed that. No problem, uh, Mr. Waifu. That's an exception. They're deserters. I guess. Oh, there's Lola. Hang on a second. I'm trying to find Lola for so long. You have to show you really like. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's look at that. Look at that uh, photo yearbook. Okay. Donald, where can I find Donald? Can somebody let me know in the comments where I can find him? Donald, Justin, Mandy, Tom, Wade. That's all I need. Anyone know where I can find those people? Library. Okay. What does Donald look like? Justin is a prep. Okay. Which war fascinated you the most? The French Revolutionary Wars. Looks like Dutton, John Dutton from Yellowstone. Yes, he does. Will I ever play Resident Evil 2 or um, 
uh, two or four. I will tomorrow for video on second one. I heard it's cool. Resident Evil 2 is, is, um, on the PS Plus right now, right? I think I can claim that, probably. Um... Mandy is a cheerleader. Okay, let's try to find Mandy first. Um, butterfly hair and had glasses. Okay. Who has the butterfly hair and glasses? Who is that? Which one? Donald at the library. Okay. Mandy is usually at the gym. Okay, let's check the football field if Mandy is there. You said Mandy's a cheerleader, right? I like you, Jimmy, but I probably shouldn't. You know, Can you give me something that will remind me of you. Okay, that's not Mandy. Um, check the gym. seem to find Mandy now. I got Casey already earlier, I think. I just passed her, I did? Can you believe that Jimmy's looking good today? Gary told me Jimmy oh, there's is Mandy. Lying. Okay. Jimmy was a fool. Okay, now you guys told me that Donald is a, a nerd, right? Okay, hang on a second. Donald, Justin... Tom and Wade. Okay. favorite TV show growing up as a kid? Probably Courage the Cowardly Dog. Tom and Wade are bullies, I think. Okay, so they're being wearing I white shirts then. That's allergy. Check the the nerd hideout. I I passed Donald. I did. I saw him. Wait. Uh. Hey, pro. I just want to ask you something personal. How do you stay healthy? Sorry, sorry for an awkward question. Um. I try to. Um. Uh. I haven't been eating healthy lately. Like, lately I've just been having a lot of chips and, um, 
chips and cookies and stuff like that. I don't actually really gain weight, surprisingly or not, so I can actually eat a ton of junk food and I just don't gain weight, I don't know why. Um, uh, but, um, uh, if you want to know, um, one thing I do do is, um, I made a pledge to, uh, for this year that I'm gonna work out basically three times a year. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I haven't worked out still this month. Uh, because it's been so busy with so many things, but I used- last year I worked out like three days a week, and I should start doing it again. Uh, but, um, uh, I don't drink any, um, I don't drink any alcohol, really. If I ever drink any alcohol, it's gonna be like a glass of wine or champagne maybe once a month, that's it. Nothing more than that. So I don't drink any alcohol, I don't drink any soda, stay away from soda, I stay away from alcohol. I don't smoke anything, uh... Worst character I've a customer I've encountered in retail. Um, Good day, my friend. Over here. Donald is right there. Wait, where? Uh, I have to go. Oh, I have an AV club meeting. I always wondered what it'd be like to be big and tough. Is he just as bad as soda now? I keep taking pictures of people. Where is Donald? How do I keep missing day, him? My friend. He's a thin guy. That's Donald. Okay, we got Donald. Okay, Donald's finally done. Okay, that was hard. Justin. Who's Justin? And Tom and Wade. Jo Justin, Tom, and Wade. Does anyone know who those three guys are? Justin is a prep. Tom and Wade are bullies. Okay, so I'm gonna be wearing white shirts. That's what I'm looking for. I wish Bull was in a Sometimes these girls, these girls, are just rude, you know? Over here! Hey! Go get up! You're messing with my head! I hit that. Over here! Those are some nice threads, man! Nope. The bullies usually hang out in this parking lot, I know that. Wait, there we go. Okay, now we just need... Okay. For this yearbook now. Justin and Tom. That's all we need. Justin and Tom. You guys told me they're a prep and a bully. Tom is a bully with a black eye. Oh, no. hangs out the Harrington house. Where is the Harrington house again? Which house is it? I'm sorry. Is that him? By any chance? Those are some nice threads, man. Nope. Hi there. You guys said he has a black eye, right? He's wearing a white shirt and he's gonna have a black eye. Uh, let's pull this too. We need that for 100% anyways. Was there a teacher you strongly disliked? Oh yeah. 
I'm gonna actually talk about them in a bully video that I'm gonna make. None of these guys have black eyes. or ten penny why oh I passed him I did I uh, what color hair does does he have over here what's cooking he has black hair and a black eye okay Justin has red hair. Oh, the Harrington house. Here it is. This is Harrington house. Okay. Over here. Why, hello there. Okay. okay. Justin hangs out the Harrington house. Like I said. I was in the way. I went in there last time. There was no one in there. Maybe. And there'll be somebody here. Said he had red hair, right? Of course. Over here. Hey. I got caviar on my favorite shirt last night. I'm okay. Absolutely... Why are there so many low class people around? It's absolutely... not them. I. It's not them. Finally, someone with class. There we go. We got Justin. Okay. No, I have. Okay, we are just missing one person. Tom. Tom is a bully. And has black hair, right? How you doing? No, it's not him. Someone told me Dad made a Hey, dudes! Over here! Okay, sure, I hear Oh, I got him. Okay, I got it. Ooh. Got three hundred dollars for that too. Nice. We got it. Oh, we got it. Every the yearbook is completed. Yes. You guys, thank you guys. You guys helped me complete the yearbook without um, uh, you guys helped me complete the yearbook without having to look up all the students. You guys told me where they all were, and I found them all. Save here. Make sure nothing crashes here.
classes at the moment here right now. It's... How was high school for you, professionals? Okay, I'm actually gonna have a video talking about that in a bully video that I got coming up. I'll, have, I'll be talking about that. I think in the amusement park, I have to, um, I have to use every one of the rides, right? Is that it? Welcome, welcome! You have what it takes, kid! Win. Oh, I gotta hit the catchers. What people don't know is a lot of these carnival games are rigged very heavily, where it's very hard to, uh, to actually win them. Like, you're, even if you're extremely good at these games, it's very, very, very hard to win them. that out in one moment. Thank you, Crazy Open. This one here. Let's see how good your past life was. Did I win that game? I 
did. Uh, Do I have to do anything in the fun house, the the freak show for 100%? Uh, friend keep free race five. I do with the tickets at the um I use these for rides then uh Oh, souvenirs here. Hi there. Looter is 75 tickets. Do I need to get everything in here for 100%? All of these stuff? Well, I'm done here. Bye. I want that scooter. Four years, long time, and lots of great content. Thank you, Chris BMD. Thank you for sponsoring my channel. Thank you, man. I do appreciate it. Thank you, man. Four years. Thanks, man. Welcome, 
welcome. Do you have what it takes, kid? You've been a member of my channel since, um, like 2020, 2020, uh, 2019. That's probably the easiest way to grind tickets is to do that. Yeah, this is probably the easiest one for grinding tickets. How do you deal with being disrespected in person? Is it better to confront the person or ignore? Um... Honestly, what I will tell you something is, in most cases, it is better to ignore a person if they are, um, uh, if they're being insulting, they're being disrespectful to you. The only time that I would, that I would talk back to a person, I wouldn't really call it a confrontation, because confrontation is something else, but the only time I would respond to a person who is basically insulting me is if you have no choice. And what I mean by you have no choice is, for example, let's say that you're, let's say that you're working in retail, you're working in customer service, right? You have to deal with the customer. You can't simply walk away. I mean, I guess you could, but you get in trouble at your job. But honestly, if you work in any kind of customer service field, and you have like somebody that's just being a complete scumbag to you, they're just being rude. Just do exactly what I do. Do what I did. Because like the last month that I was working in retail before I quit, whenever I would had to have a like a really rude customer, I would do the exact same thing constantly. If they were like rude and nasty to me just from the start. What I would do is I would tell them like you know, sir, ma'am, I'm trying my best to help you. If you continue being you know rude to me, I am not gonna help you. And if they stopped and apologized, I would help them with what they needed. If they didn't, I would just walk away. I would say go find somebody else to help. You. I'm not helping you anymore. That's what I would I would do. And the thing about this is the customers that are really that are really um rude, the really really rude customers. If they don't stop and you walk away from them after they you tell them you warn them, you tell them you know stop being rude, and they don't and you walk away. If you walk away, it's always the exact same where they're completely shocked. They're completely shocked that you walk away because they just expect you to sit there and just take it from them. So that's just it. So I'm not getting paid a little bit above minimum wage to get screamed at. Um, but in most cases, if somebody's being nasty, you just best, best to ignore it, honestly. Customers are in America. I'm a Southeast Asia as a driver, but I only um, one to three rude customers. Most of the time, um, uh, most of the time, the really rude people that you will encounter in retail, you encounter them usually in cities. It doesn't matter if it's North, South, Midwest, or you know West Coast. Most of the time, the really rude customers you'll encounter them specifically in cities, and the reason for that is because in cities, people are typically in a rush. They're trying to get somewhere. And so they just typically forget just proper, you know, uh, proper morals. And so they just, they just think, oh, I'm just going to be rude to somebody. Please turn the game audio down. Oh, okay. Um... that scooter use a scooter for races you can you actually use the scooter for races no you can't are you serious right now you, you gotta be you gotta be trolling with me on that you 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 you, you are you trolling with me on that
What happened to all the trophies? Why are all the trophies gone? Is it, I guess it's just different hours when the tournaments are available, but. Oh, oops. Wow. <laughs> This is definitely the best way to get around the map now. Yeah, this is definitely the best way to get around the map. Oh god, it's shop class. Okay, I'm going to class. Calm down, officer. I'm going to class. Don't worry. Oh no, no, no. I'm going to class. Don't worry about it. Is there ever going to be a remake for Bully? Probably not. What Rockstar will probably do is they're probably going to, uh... If anything, maybe make an HD version. That's about it. Stand over by the bike workstation. Wait, I don't get to work on cars? Cars are for seniors. You gotta walk before you can run, boyo. <laughs> Not too shabby, Hopkins. <laughs> Good work, Hopkins. That ain't right. Ah. Do it again. Show me you can do it right, son. Right, come on, we can do this. Maybe you're Damn it! Oh my God, I'm just. What the hell were you thinking about, Hopkins? I hate this. Not your work. I hate That's this class. Sure. Imagine there's a mission where Jimmy steals cars and goes on a joy ride, yeah. Ugh. I hate that class. No helmet. Okay, well. I'm not on the bike with no helmet anymore. Okay, 86% complete. We're nearing 100% completion. So I guess we'll probably wrap it up here, guys. Um, uh, top class and mobile is not that bad. Well, I gotta, I gotta, um, uh, yeah, I gotta, I'm gonna, I, mu I think I'm gonna do it with keyboard and mouse, because it's, it is getting on my nerves, the shop class is, is, it's too much. It's getting ridiculous at this point. Um. Uh, but, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream here. I'm kind of hungry. I haven't had dinner yet, so I'm gonna have something to eat. Um, is there anything you guys want to ask me before I go? Before I go, I'll answer any questions you guys might have. Yeah, I did earlier, Golden. So I guess I'll be going here, guys. Um, uh, thank you guys. Um, uh, what's for dinner? I don't know. I'm gonna have to see what's in the fridge. The hardest mission for me in Bully. Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about that one. Maybe the hardest mission was that mission when you go into like that rundown building for Lola and you have to fight the guy with like the big um, the big piece of metal. Not not the factory at the end, but the greaser guy. That was. I honestly found that greaser fight to be harder than the um uh. Then the, yeah, the second to last boss battle, the Tenements, yeah, that was a hard one. You're a bright light in the dark world. Thank you, man. Hey, pro, I'm playing GTA 4 and I'm at Hove Beach. Look, uh, look for Petrovix guys. I don't really see them. Are you sure Petrovix guys are in the story mode? They are. Um, uh, they're, uh, they are in, um, uh, 
the same street that that Roman lives on, his first, you know, apartment. Walk up and down that street, you'll see Petrovic's mobsters, you know, walking up and down the street, and you'll see them driving around cars in Hove Beach. You'll see them there. Um, they're there. It's the same guys you play as multiplayer. I, um, uh, I will talk about, you know, my high school experiences in Bully. I'm gonna make, like, a Bully video talking about high school stories that remind me of things, events that happen in Bully, and I'm gonna explain, you know, how I, it reminded me of the game. Um, uh, next lore video, it's gonna be probably the Bully video. What kind of car they drive? I think they drive the Sentinels. Um, yes, yeah, they sound like they have suits, though, Omer. But I guess I'll be going here, guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you guys enjoyed the stream, drop a like. Next week, we'll do another Bully stream. And on Friday, we will do um, uh, Friday we'll do Red Dead Online. And then Sunday, we'll do GTA Online. Maybe Saturday, actually, we'll do the Bully stream. I'll see. If it's not Saturday, it'll be next week, though. But um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, thank you guys for watching the stream. I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.